Do you have goals? Do you know what they are? Have you planned how to reach them? As a teacher, one of my favorite subjects to teach was uh, personal and professional development, which is all about how to map out your passions and your, your ambitions and put them down uh, pretty much like a roadmap and then work out, right, here I am now, this is where I want to go, how do I get there? And uh, this is something that I found was enormously useful for pretty much every single student I've ever met. Most of them were really skeptic in the beginning, thinking, mm, yeah, but I know what I want, so what's the point? Well, the point is, if you know where you want to go, but you don't have a map, you don't have a ticket, or you don't even have any other means of traveling than your own two feet, then unless you were just planning on going to the neighbors, you're not very likely to get there. When I first had to give up working, I thought that I didn't have any more goals. And that was true, because all the goals I had before that, they were kind of depending on my ability to work. When that was taken away from me, I had to sit down and rethink, really what am I going to do now? And initially it was hard, because I didn't want to give up on the dreams and goals I had. Uh, but then, after a while, um, I realised that, well, I could either lie here in my bed and feel sorry for myself, or I could come up with a new game plan. Um, this life is frightfully short, and um, if you want another chance at doing something that you might really like, and that might help make you feel useful, then uh, you better get a move on, girl, because this is it. In my first introduction, I did mention that um, I wanted to start a travel channel and uh, this was something that was born out of a travel that I did with my oldest daughter in the beginning of the year. We went backpacking from London to Stockholm which is the capital of Sweden in Scandinavia and back again and whilst we did this we were both writing about it and taking pictures and posting on our Instagram accounts and we both had a rather large influx of followers during uh, this journey and we got a lot of feedback from people saying things like oh wow this is really inspirational and uh, what a great thing to do you guys are so funny to watch um, you need to release a book we want to read more about this and uh, as I've also mentioned before I've always avoided cameras so for me the idea of sharing even more which would involve me being in front of a camera more seemed like a horrible idea my oldest daughter, on the other hand, and she is one of those people who really thrives of having an audience. Really thrives of having an audience. Um, so for her, when, when she saw this, she got quite excited and she said right away, Mom, we, we need to start making videos for YouTube. And something nearly shriveled up and died inside of me because I thought that as much as I would like to do it with you, I can't because I can't be in front of a camera. And then I had time to think about it. Obviously, this was back in January, February. It's uh, August now. But during the summer, well, during the spring and early summer, I was processing all of this. And the more I thought about it, the more it dawned on me what a good idea it was. Um, I want that travel channel. I want it for me, but I also want it for other people. I want it to be something that could still be there when I'm no longer here and lend support. Uh, give help, give advice, but also inspire and motivate others to take that leap. Get out of the house, do something, go for an adventure, experience something, do something you're scared of. And I just knew this is what I want to do, but I couldn't because I don't know how to YouTube. See, I thought that I could conquer my fear of cameras if I really decided to and if I sort of put a lot of effort into it. I can tell myself um, that although I've only been doing this for, I think it's five weeks now, there is a huge difference between my first couple of videos and where I am now, so hopefully in another five weeks the difference is going to be even greater. I am beginning to relax, I'm beginning to warm to the camera, and most of all I am beginning to see the potential of the camera. It gives me the opportunity to do things that I really want to do, but that I haven't been able to do for quite some time. And that in itself is pretty amazing. Now, 
My goal is not to become a video making pro. My goal is to be make a <laughs> my goal is to be able to make decent quality videos that people might want to watch. Um, I'm hoping that we could be funny. I'm hoping we could be interesting. I'm hoping we could be entertaining, informative and useful. If, if we could sort of hit those and uh, if we could also get other people to feel that, you know what, this is in a moment where I feel safe and actually with these people I wouldn't mind sharing my own stories and maybe even my own videos and pictures etc. That's, um, that's part of the dream that we will get there, to get other people to share their stories with us and others on our platform. I can't do this anymore, I have to lie down, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, that's much better. Um, now, where was I? Uh, goals, yes. Um, when you're talking about goals, we try to sort of divide them into long-term, medium-term and short-term goals. For me, um, for us, this um, travel channel is a long-term goal. Um, it's something that's like one of those big destinations you want to reach in life. And to get there, you need to have a number of short-term goals that, you know, on a daily or weekly basis make you feel like you are getting closer to where you want to go. There also needs to be some medium-term goals, because otherwise most people sort of fall off the bandwagon because the distance is too long and the walk, the trek is too far from starting point to finish and they kind of lose motivation. If you have milestones in between um, that you need to reach, that makes the journey uh, more interesting and it kind of feeds into your motivation system. And we need both internal and external motivation. But the thing is, I don't think any person has enough internal motivation to carry themselves all the way if the big goal is too far off. There needs to be some other things that kind of feeds into your reward system that makes your brain go, oh wow, this is nice, I want to continue. So in this particular video, I have been talking about the long-term goal, which is making that travel channel a reality and, you know, the dream around the travel channel. Um, to get there, I had to make a number of decisions and the first one was I needed to learn how to get on a camera. I needed to learn to feel more comfortable doing what I'm doing right now. And um, I also needed to learn how to make videos. And that's why I started this channel. This is part of my short term and my mid term goals. And that's a completely different kettle of fish. So I'm not going to tell you about that in this video. Um, but I'm going to make a second video to talk about those goals, the more immediate goals I have and uh, what's so special about them and why they are so important to me. Now, I've been talking uh, about my long-term goal, um, getting the World Wheelers universe off the ground. And you know what? Even the thought of all this is making me extremely tired, which means that I'm going to have to love you and leave you for today. But first and foremost, as always, thank you very much for being here today. I'm so glad you've come to see me. I love talking to you guys. Uh, have a fantastic day wherever you are. And don't forget, I love you.